Hello everyone, my name is Benjamin. I want to speak to you about how I received the forgiveness of sin. And then before I speak, I want to read a verse in the Bible, in the book of Jeremiah chapter 31, and then starting from verse 31, I'll read. Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was an husband and unto them, says the Lord. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them unto the greatest of them, says the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. Uh, I was brought up in a Christian family. My grandfather was a pastor. But then, as you all know, that uh, the people who come up in a Christian family, where the father or the grandfather is a pastor, they are given so many rules and laws to follow. I lived in such a way. I used to go to church, not because I really wanted to go to church, but I used to go to church because I couldn't stay at home. There was fight every time if I didn't go to church, so I really wanted to go to church to please my father, to please my mother, and also to please my grandfather, who was a pastor. But then, after I finished my school, I came to Nairobi, but I didn't know what to do because I really tried to change to many churches. I was brought up in an AIC church, so when I came to Nairobi, I went to Ziwani AIC, I went to Madare AIC, and later I went to Redeemed Gospel Church seeking for a place where I could solve the problem of my sin because when I was young, I really lived a life. I really wanted to be the person who I wanted to be because when I was at home, I couldn't get time to do anything. I couldn't get time to... These things were deep in my heart. I wanted to do them. I wanted to go to discourse. I wanted to do every kind of a thing. But because of the issue that my grandfather was a pastor and my mother was in the church and a leader in the church, I couldn't do anything, so I pretended before them that I, I'm a good person, I cannot do anything. But then when I came to Nairobi after I finished school, I wanted to do everything that I, I could do. But then, one time I remember when I was in a dimmed gospel, I met with one man, uh, fortunately now he's our pastor, he's in Migori. By then he was just a, a matatu contractor, he was a taught and then he was looking kind of funny, so I didn't want to listen to him because I thought a pastor should come in a suit and he should, do, uh, he should have a Bible and so many other things. But then he came just a normal person and then he was in a, a baggy jeans and then a t-shirt. Then one time he, he, he wanted me to read the Bible. And then I was looking at him thinking, how can you tell me to read the Bible? I don't, even he didn't seem to be like a person who can read the Bible. But then as we were reading the Bible, he spoke about one thing that touched my heart. He read one verse in the book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, that whoever commits sin is of the devil. For the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested to take away our sins. Then I was, you know, I didn't understand whoever sins is of the devil. So I was wondering, and then he was asking me, whoever, whoever means, whether he's a pastor, whether he's a reverend, whether he's a brother, whether he's a sister, whether he's just a youth, if they commit sin, they belong to the devil. At that time, I was so surprised. And then I was thinking, I think this guy is, I don't understand him. Then I took his Bible. I wanted to see whether it's the kind of a Bible that I normally re read. Uh, we read many verses, but that one remained in my heart. But that time, he did not finish preaching the gospel to me. So when I went home, I took my Bible, and then I was, I was trying to check every kind of verse that we read, but I became more confused because even in my Bible, the Bible was speaking of the same thing. So I was wondering, then, who is lost? Me, who is wrong? The Bible or me? Him or myself? And then I was able to realize that I was wrong. 
seriously I was wrong, I was wrong, even though I was thinking that, oh, you know, going to church, praying, singing, giving offering, living a good life, I thought this is a godly life. But then I didn't know that the relationship between me and God would only come when I received the forgiveness of sin. Then I looked for him another time, and when we met, he was now preaching the gospel to me. At that time, I was able to realize one thing that was very important, that Jesus Christ came to this world. He did not only come to this world so that please anyone. He came purposely to take away the sin of the world. And in the world, I'm part of the world. So at that time, I was able to realize one thing which was very important. As I read in the book of Jeremiah 31, in verse 34, it says, And they shall teach no man, every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. For they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, says the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sin no more. Here the Bible says, I will, I will, I will. Then meaning this is the will of God. So the will of God was to forgive our sins and not to remember our sins. And because of that, he sent his son Jesus Christ to come and accomplish the will of God for my sake. That's why also there is one verse that gave me the true salvation for me to realize that I had no sin, that all my sins were forgiven. It is in the book of Hebrews chapter 10, Hebrews chapter 10, and then verse 10 says, By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. And then verse 14 says, for by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. Verse 17, and their sins and iniquities I will remember no more. This is Jesus who came to this world to do the will of God, to do the will of God on my behalf so that I may not have any sin, so that he may not remember, he may not have any remembrance of my sin. The last 18 years, God revealed unto me the secret of forgiveness. And then he forgave me all my sins. As I stand here, I can say that I'm holy, I am righteous, I'm perfect, a son of God. This I did not know, not because of what I do, not because of what I think, but because of what is written. The great work of Jesus, he finished all the sin of the world, including my sin. And then at that time, he made a covenant with God, saying that in verse 17, and their sins, which means, and Benjamin's sins and iniquities, I will remember no more. It doesn't matter how many, how many times I can remember, but God is the judge. He says that he will remember my sins no more. That's why I'm so happy for the love of God who saved me from sin and made me to become his son. Thank you.